What is going on guys? It is your boy Tropical Habs back here today for another video. I'm not gonna lie, I was about to say Tropical in each other, but I didn't. I didn't. Uh, so yeah, today we're here for Habs preview. For Habs preview today, the Canadians are facing the Columbus Blue Jackets tonight in Columbus. So we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna look at lines. We're gonna look at combinations. We're gonna talk about the other team, and we're gonna make our predictions also for tonight's game. So before getting before getting into the video, I invite you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm all, I'm one of the fastest Habs reviewer, Habs updater on YouTube. So if you want to be a with everything that's going on with the Canadian I invite you to subscribe and turn on post notification as well you could also leave a like let's try and get 50 likes on this video that would be amazing so yeah tonight the Canadians are facing the Blue Jackets uh, the Blue Jackets were last in the NHL I think they are tied at last with the Anaheim Ducks so terrible terrible start of this season for the Columbus Blue Jackets even though they have a lot of talented players you can't underestimate it, underestimate them because they have talented players and they are capable of playing good hockey even though they haven't done it quite well at um, this moment of the season right now. They haven't been performing uh, really well. But when you have guys like Goldro, you have guys like Patrick Lining, you have guys of that caliber, Jacob Voracek and all of that, you can always be a dangerous team for a night or two. So yeah, um... Zach Wierenski, their star defenseman, is going to be injured for the rest of this season. So that's one of the biggest reasons why the Blue Jackets haven't been doing well in the last week. And since the beginning of the year, uh, Liney got injured at the start of the season as well. But Johnny Goodrow is having a pretty good start of this season right now. Um, but judging by the circumstances, that the, the Blue Jackets are doing really poorly. So yeah, uh, the Canadians... I held an optional morning skate at Nationwide Arena this morning. Uh, so we have no idea about uh, what the lines and combinations are going to be. Usually they look at what the combinations are at training. Uh, but since there wasn't any training this morning, uh, we can't really look at what it was. So yeah, I've talked with multiple people uh, in the Habs community on Twitter and DMs and uh, I've came to the conclusion that the lineup is going to look probably the same as it did last uh, game against the New Jersey Devils. So the first line is going to be Caulfield, Suzuki, Doc. Second line is going to be Gallagher, Hoffman and Dvorak. Third line is going to be Dodonov, Monahan and uh, Henderson and fourth line is going to be Pizzetta, Evans, and Slavkovsky. Yes, Yuri Slavkovsky is still in again on the fourth line. Um, the defensive pairing is going to be the same. You're going to have um, Savo Ingule, uh, Edmondson, and Jackai, and uh, Kovacevic and Harris. And in net is going to be Samuel Montalbo. Samuel Montalbo is apparently going to start this game tonight. Um, he's been doing pretty well so far this season. One of the best statistics for goalies in the NHL in the games he played. So, yeah, uh, I hope he continues on the same track. So, yeah, I don't quite get the move of Slavkovsky still on the fourth. He, had, he was the best forward last game against the Devils. He had like four or five A1 scoring chances. Didn't score any of them, but um, Vanacek was really, really good last game. And the defense of the Devils was good as well. So, just for him to, got, to have those chances... Uh, I would have at least given him a chance to play on the top nine and give him uh, either Anderson's spot or uh, Daldanov. Uh, so, yeah, I find it weird, but I hope Slavkovsky is going to get a, a promotion soon. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm okay with the rest of the lineup. There's not too many options to do anyways. The first line's working well. Uh, Hoffman's been playing good with Dvorak and Gallagher, so I'm okay with that. But I would have loved seeing Slavkovsky on the top six. Uh, or on the top nine uh, for tonight's game against one of the worst teams in the NHL. You had nothing to lose by trying it, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, my predictions for tonight. My prediction, I think the Canadians are capable. They are a better team than the Blue Jackets overall. Um, I think that Suzuki and Caulfield will have a rebound game. They got shut down. Last game, so they're going to be hungry out there. I said a goal for Coca Field, a goal for Suzuki. 
two assists for Kirby Doc. I see a goal for Yurasovkoski and a goal for um, Mike Hoffman and a 4-1 win for the Canadians. The goal from the Blue Jackets is going to come of uh, Jacob Vorch Vorchek. So, yeah, that's my predictions for tonight. 4-1 Canadians, big game by Montalbo, Caulfield, Suzuki, Sofkowski, and Hoffman for the Canadians and Voracek for the Blue Jackets. So, yeah, let me know your predictions in the comments below. I'll see y'all later tonight after the game for a Habs review. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe. It's been your boy Tropical Habs. Have a good rest of your day. Enjoy the game and bye-bye.